Nothing Escapes Justice, Part 4 of 6, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on September 26, 2021. They are powerless, the police. They're just small, civic servants. Yes, Master. How can they go against the big power that be, like under Biden? That's right, Master. Biden had said these Border Patrol agents will pay the price. How do you feel about that when you think about what they're saying? This is the president. It's honestly heartbreaking to, to know that, uh, you know, we work for an outfit like this, that uh, they ask us to do our job and, and we do it to the best of our abilities. And, um, and then we get this kind of uh, backlash. This is a perfect illustration of how the Democrats led by Joe Biden are anti-police. Anywhere and everywhere. That's his message today. Don't enforce America's laws. When you see somebody breaking into our country, let them in. He's also saying to police forces everywhere, no more horse patrols anywhere. Has anybody ever been to Bourbon Street? They have horse patrols there. Is that somehow inhumane? The purpose of those patrols is to deter people from coming into the country. The result of Joe Biden's policies is going to invite many more people into the country. This well, we is open for... borders at its worst, encouraged by the president of the United States. And I can't think of a single presidential administration that has broken more plates in its first nine months than the Biden administration. I mean, think about it. Uh, you were talking about it earlier, Afghanistan, uh, inflation, uh, crime, critical race theory, gas prices, uh, the destruction of, a, of America's energy independence. And, and yet, uh, of all of the president's screw-ups, there's not a single one greater than the crisis at the border. And it is a crisis. This year, over two million people will come into this country illegally, and we don't have the slightest idea who they are. Anything, they say anything. Just like even the Sun Hunters sell the thing for hundreds of thousands, they even defend it officially. Say, oh, it's legal. Wow. Of course it's legal. Many things are legal doesn't mean it's right. Yes, Master. There are loopholes in any system. Yes, true. And they will address it only when it happens, because it didn't happen before ever. But they're not under Biden, yeah? Right, Master. I don't think they will close this loophole. Uh, yeah, if they do it, uh, the next president will close it. They will cry foul, like oh, you know, say abusing artists and <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, if they bring him to court, they will cry foul again. Yeah. Yes, yeah, master. Yeah, when you're in power, you can say anything, however ridiculous and and cruel or or stupid or even against your own <laughs> speech before. One minute you say this, and the next minute you're against yourself. Is it okay? Because you're in power. Especially backed by demons. Oh, yeah. Demons' power would blind everybody around. And that's why they treat him so gentle, with kid gloves, and treat uh, President Trump so brutally, and right. still do. You see? Yes, Master. So in a way, I, I also don't blame the media. I just feel sorry. Mm. Yeah, they're helpless also, some of them. If your motive is just to earn money, in any case, or blindside people just to get headlines, then, then you are easily influenced by the dark force, okay? Yes. If you're more straightforward and fear God, punishment, and do just exactly what you should do, you know, just reporting and informing, then the demons cannot touch you. Uh, right. Yes. Virtuous people, the demons cannot touch. Even calamity cannot touch uh, any city if at least, if the city is not even population, of course, if at least 10 people in their city fear God and are virtuous, then their city will be safe. Oh, wow. Even that's just that. It depends on how big the population, of course, also. That's why many countries, many counties or many uh, states are in trouble while others are not. Mm, right. Because in those states, maybe there are more God-fearing people who live there. More virtuous people. Yes, Master. 
So as some of your uh, brothers and sisters sent me a letter before saying Taiwan was safe from some typhoon, like oh, we are away just like that. Yeah, suddenly. just divert suddenly. Yeah. yeah, for example, like that. It's because many Taiwanese people practice true spiritual enlightenment. Yes, Master. We have a lot of disciples in Taiwan. All right. Yeah, and sincere. Yes. Sincere. And Vietnam also changed to a much better now, mm. more freedom, because many Vietnamese also are Kuan Yin practitioners. Oh, Things yeah. changed so quick. Before, there was none. Right. Before, there was just war, oppression, and restriction, and everything. And now it's completely like a free country. Oh, yes. People come in and out freely, like a supermarket. <laughs> My disciple, whenever we had a retreat, they fill the whole airport, just them. <laughs> any, any airplane they take. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Yeah, the airplane company, uh, those uh, should pay me in commission. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Not that I take, of course, just a joke, okay? Yes. Oh, but thanks God for these uh, changes yes. that are allowing. For example, happen. like that, yeah? Yes. Okay. And uh, it's just an example of a few countries. I can't remember more. I can remember more. I don't remember how many disciples were. <laughs> yes, Master. Just uh, vaguely. Are you happy with my explanation? Yes, I am. Thank you very much. The U.S. House of Representatives passed the most sweeping pro-abortion bill in the nation's history today. Probably the most anti-life legislation ever to be considered. San Francisco Archbishop Salvatore Colaleone warned in a statement that, quote, this proposed legislation is nothing short of child sacrifice. It is especially shameful that any self-professed Catholic would be implicated in such an evil, let alone advocate for it. Recently about the Texas anti-abortion laws, mm. now uh, the Biden administration is actually in support mm. of abortion rights. Really? Yeah. Oh, God. And is preparing to sue Texas. Oh, God! Over their um, abortion laws. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, God. They want to kill more Americans, innocent little babies now? My God, didn't they kill enough already by releasing all these uh, COVID-infected people into their country? No, true. Into America, and now they want to kill babies as well? Little innocent, helpless in the womb already? My God, I told you, they're demons. Isn't that not proof enough to you? Then what else can I say? Yes, Master, it's clear. I held the Texas governor and government. They are good. Yes, Master. They are blessed by God, and they will be in heaven. I swear to you, by my honor, that they will be. I will fest them to heaven. Look and see the mysteries of the mother's womb. Open your ears to the cries of the unborn. May hearts break, and may we celebrate life. Let's uphold the value, the dignity, and the potential of every life. Catholic Congressman David Schweikert, who was adopted, shared about the moment he first met his birth mother. She was struggling. You could hear her almost hyperventilating is, I pray for you every morning. Are you okay? Are you healthy? Are you happy? And, and, and I'm crying on my side saying, I, I have a great life. Thank you for letting me live. And all these people who try to kill little helpless babies in the worms already, they will all go to hell. And I don't know how long. Could be forever. Babies are God's creation, God's given. It's not in their hands to kill or to murder like that. I mean, some women are not to blame. They are just like vulnerable or have financial problems that they cannot cope. And they have no good advice. Right, yeah? So they had to do it. Under the circumstance, yeah? Yes, Master. But not for the government to step in and say, yeah, go ahead, do it. Kill your baby. Say it to the whole nation. Millions of babies inside the womb are killed every year. And they want to continue this butcherous procedure, yeah? Yeah. My God. What kind of president, what kind of government is that? They're murderers. My God, I accuse them of murdering innocent little babies, not even born yet. Yes, Master. They have many other solutions. They can give them support. They can give extra money for them. Especially now our population in some places are dwindling. They can give the adoption, not just in America, but give it to outsiders also, you know, outside countries, foreigners. Yes. In Japan, now they relax the rules to let many people come in to their country to work. 
because their population of the young generation is dwindling. There's a lot of people who live until old age. Yes, Master. But they are less balanced by younger children, younger generation, younger babies. Many couples don't want to have babies, so they even encourage, they give money for couples to have babies. They encourage them to support them. Right, Master. Yes, and some other countries they also did that. Yes. I forgot which country. Maybe you can look for me in the internet and tell me then. Okay. okay? They encourage couples to have children. Yes. So you can even give adoption to those foreigners, to whichever country that wants to accept them. Yes. You don't have to kill little babies. They say the fetus in the womb of the mother already has a heartbeat at 21 days only wow. after conception. Wow. Can you believe that? Not even one month old. Yes. And they have abortion two months, one month or more already. When not necessary. It's a very rich country. They could even accept that and make an orphanage even. Yes, that's right. Master. Yeah, they can afford that. Yes. And why not? If they need more votes, why not do that then? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or, or if they don't like their own citizens, they hate the citizens so much when they're not even born yet, then give them to other countries who need them. Yes, exactly. My master. God! My God, holy God, can you see that? Heaven, look! Huh? They're killing babies now. Before they could even see the sun. What a wicked, evil government it is. And the media do nothing. The Congress does nothing. Oh, of course, the Congress is more populated. There are uh, Democrats. Yeah. But the other Democrats, the other morally fit ex-presidents or other morally fit Democrats should be against this because that's also bad for their own party, yes. for the Democratic Party. Not to talk about moral obligation yet, okay? Right, most. Not talking more about the population or the votes or the commandments of God. The Ten Commandments, those shall not kill. Exactly. Oh, my God. Not only do they kill humans, they kill animals in billions per year, and now they kill babies. What have they done? Huh? They're not the enemies of the state. They're not the enemy of Biden and the government. You got that? They're not even the property of the government. Yeah? Yes, Master. Mm -hmm.